answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular, the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular, the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular, the man. Guess who's back? Yes, yes, yes. We are back. Shout out to the buyback team. Definitely check them out. We got a Rumble page as well called Secure Your Energy, where you can learn about investing in tax needs and tax deeds and the real estate market and everything above. Now, we about to get into the controversy. You know, I, I like this time. I can get a little loose. Loose. You see, I had to be all... Because YouTube is a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Rumble? YouTube is a piece of shit. But they have a bigger platform right now where it comes from Rumble. But I ain't getting plays on YouTube anyway. So I just said, fuck it. I'm just going to keep trying. Just give them a little bit. But y'all, y'all my home base. Now let's get to it. What I wanted to share with y'all. Y'all know sex trafficking is real. Okay? This is a young lady from Georgia who is talking about officials being involved in sex trafficking and she has been trying to get this information out and they have been hiding it but she gonna get her justice i'm gonna give y'all a little personal story when she finished y'all know i always got something personal to tell you about what i had heard and what i saw especially out the hell here Solomon and Gamora. a lot of you are asking for the video of what happened with my daughter um, in Georgia. Georgia is a huge human trafficking state or hub. The government officials, including the police and DFCS, are involved. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit everything in this video, but I will post a longer video. Long story short, the police chief, along with a DFCS worker, filed fake paperwork in court to file a fake deprivement against me. They kidnapped my daughter for four months. They beat her, they starved her, threw her into the walls, threatened her and everything. A lot of people are asking me to post a new video because Bank of America was the one that was involved in the transactions um, made to the district attorney of Clayton County, Georgia for the sales of the children. Woo! I reported this to the FBI for over a year and they refused to go in. I finally got in contact with the Human Trafficking Division of the Attorney General and the Inspector General of the United States. They went in, found proof, found that the children were getting S8 on camera, clips were being sold online, et cetera. And they finally went in a year later and made arrests. You guys, my daughter will get justice. And this is my story. I will be following up if I hear anything more about this. Georgia is the biggest, one of the biggest sex trafficking hub, a.k.a. Sodom and Gomorrah. You already know, especially in the middle of Atlanta, anything goes. Georgia is a huge human trafficking hub. Government officials and police are involved in the sales of minor children to be trafficked, allegedly, according to what this person just wrote. Makes sense. This is the next person. Makes sense. The Masons and the Stars in Clayton County unreal pray for you and your daughter god will deal with them trust in god yes because clayton county remember i told y'all about that sheriff that was the sheriff that was just strapping motherfuckers to the chair you remember he walked up in there and the guy was like do i have rights am i you, you human he said no not in clayton county and everybody when that man walked in there they put their head down like god oh, shit like he was demon time, okay? That is how it is in a lot of these counties. These public officials are not who they say they are. They are dealing under the coats of um, 
being a judge, being a lawyer, being these public officials, being police, and they're literally involved. It was so crazy because two things. I was just, what came into my timeline? Do y'all know about this? Please look it up again because it's never going to die down because people believe that this young boy is still alive and they believe that they have him right in front of us. Mr. Johnny Gosh. Do y'all remember Johnny Gosh? Okay. About six, seven years ago, I came upon Johnny Gosh, that story, and it was really heart wrenching and the craziness about it, how he showed back up at his mother house, said he was part of a sex trafficking ring. Somebody admitted to it. The police would not investigate right. Please look into the Johnny Gosh case. It got as far as saying that Johnny Gosh was working in the White House and also a news anchor because what they were saying was the MK Ultra, allegedly. I'm just going down the deep end because I'm in Rumble, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Do not put nothing past anything. Now, personal situation, let's get it. I was in court, okay? Went into court for, um, I think I was, this time I was in court because I was suing somebody. I was suing the lady who tried to, you know, you know, try to get me from a paper. Now, make a long story short, I was going back and forth with the judge like I always do. And the judge wanted to hold my black ass in contempt. I don't give a fuck. Okay. So he wanted to hold me in contempt. And then, they should, you know, whatever she did. So I end up running into the, the, uh, um, the court security guard, the cop. Because I went in there to do something and oh, I have and I forgot what it was, but we ran into each other. And he was like, Oh, you look familiar. I was like, Yeah, you was the cop that was gonna lock me up. And he was like, No, I didn't want to lock you up. You know, you just can't say certain things to those judges, this, that, and third. I'm like, Yep, mm-hmm. So I started talking to him because I had just got wind from a gentleman that got in contact with me the first time that my page went viral. The first time that Uncensored Enlightenment talk went viral and I was talking about these controversy thing, there was a, a Caucasian man from my area that inboxed me and we started to um, talk. He studied law and he was a like like a patriot. And this gentleman has been was at that point trying for two to three years to tell the government officials in my particular area, which was Henry County. I'm just telling you, Henry County. Um, government officials, because I made a video on this, that there were allegedly sex trafficking going on in relation to public officials and, and, and um, you know, police. And they said when he, he took it to the DA, this is a, a Caucasian man that came to talk to me because he was like, listen, you got to warn your people because they're not listening. They don't take this re as reality. And they're really they're taking y'all easier than they taking us because they're just like, you're not valuable. And I'm like, you 100% right. I know the way that these elites, even if they don't, re they, they, they don't give a damn about their own, you, the same color, I know they don't give a damn about us. We need to shreds. So he was like, you got to keep pushing this content so they can understand that it's real. So he told me about what he was trying to do. He was going to the government, going to the county meetings, things like that, and nobody would listen. So fast forward, when I talked to this cop that was about to clank, clank me, I was like, let me ask you something. He's like, well, I said, do you go to the council meetings out here? Like you live in this area, right? He's like, yeah. I said, cause I'm kind of new to this area. It's like my first two years here. And I've been told that it's some things that go on. And I really wanted to know, do you hear about this stuff? He's like, like what? I'm like, like sex trafficking, like girls being kidnapped. There's some really weird places out here. And he's like, what I can tell you is that we do have a sex trafficking unit in this little ass town so that my eyes popped open like okay it gotta be a fucking problem if you're gonna fund this little ass town with sex trafficking unit that's just like a gang unit they focus on the issue that's a problem he says secondly there he was i'm gonna give you a, a, a example there was a young girl that we picked up off the streets for prostituting and she couldn't remember her name she did not know where she was from we did face recognition and ran her fingerprints and came to find out she was from iowa and she's been reported missing for over 30 days. OK, and that would that goes to say they were drugging her up and prostituting her. And she was getting the record on her like that's where she wanted to be. I don't know if she was a runaway. You know how that is. You be a runaway. You go to these dudes. Then you got to pay like your way. So he verified to me in my old little old town, which was a town that turned into a damn city. Which making me more nervous of this shit turning like sound like Atlanta. That's a half an hour from this place. 
that this shit is going on here. So I wanted to share this with you guys. We got a little bit more to share going down conspiracy lane. It ain't conspiracy. This is another um, clip. If y'all don't remember, I shared this with you guys. Arrest for tied to human trafficking. Biden top Pentagon elementary school educator. I shared this. I'm going to share it again. I'm so glad for Rumble. I wouldn't be able to share this no fucking way else. Thank you, Rumble. I love you. Oh, it's like it relieved my chest to be able to show it because this is crazy. And this is what we've been talking about for years. Now the proof is in the pudding. Let's go. <laughs> Thing. Let me read it to you. Horrifying Stefan France Habenick, a top administrator of the Pentagon school system in the American regions, was arrested on November 15th in human trafficking sting in Kiowa County, Georgia. Georgia, where have you been? Out here taking them damn kids and hiding them in the bin. I doubt I'm serious, y'all. There be some houses out here that I'll ride by and I'll be like, yo, that little shit looks suspect. It looking condemned. Well, why the hell is it lights in the damn driveway? The house look condemned. Nobody lived there. But there's lights on today, not tomorrow. Is a truck there today, not for another couple of weeks. This is some bullshit. Let's read this. This is from Officially So Tired. Please check out their Instagram page. Biden top elementary school educator for the Pentagon, Stephen France Havenick, was recently busted in human trafficking sting operation. Overall, the sting operate led to the arrest of 26 individuals, including 12 for prosecution, 10 for pandering, prostitution. That was the ones that's probably the victims, 10 for pandering and four for pimping. Three suspects are also under investigation for human trafficking and drugs-related charges. Havenick is a senior official with the Department of Defense Education, um, Education Activity, American Division, which oversees elementary school education for military families. There we go. All of them are satanic, okay? I'm just showing the proof. It's just coming to roost, okay? Let's move forward. I got a little bit more for you guys. Where do the children go? Where do they come from? Child Protective Ser Services, this is another video that came up in my algorithm, are losing kids. We don't care if they're just immigrants. They're losing our kids. You know they're going to lose them immigrant kids. They're losing their own American kids too. Where are they going? Three kids for the specific purpose of being sold for sacrifice? And it's more common than you think. And the rest of the kids from foster care, orphans, people that don't have any family. We have had um, several clients come that were trafficked and transported through Child Protective Services and foster care system. Federal or state organizations, they they want to deny that it exists or deny the problem because a lot of our children are passing through their hands. They are absolutely a part of the problem. There are hundreds of children in Arizona who are missing right now from state custody. State lawmakers are now questioning how 70 foster kids can go missing. In the meantime, the Arizona Department of Child Safety says tonight they can't locate 44 children who are supposed to be in their custody. Investigators believe the four children may have been taken from their foster home. They recovered 25 missing and endangered children over the last month, one in four was part of what they believe an alleged human trafficking situation. In Orange County last year, they had um, a bust for these traffickers. 65% of those victims were wards of Child Protective Services. We got a little bit more proof for you guys. Check this out, okay? This is how they get our kids and get people kids and immigrants through and hide them. Hold on, booze. Y'all know y'all my booze. Hold on. Do I got it on? Look at this shit. This is how they get them in. This is how they hide the kids, too. 
Hold on. Look at that. This is a bit Johnny Gosh. Johnny Gosh. And this is, it never stopped. It never stopped. Biblically, they've been sacrificing kids and doing things. And they're still doing this. Sex rituals. This is not nothing new. It's, it's, let me show you a little bit more proof, okay? This is what come up on my timeline. Once I, it, it, I, I get the proof. I got, I got a little bit more for you. Check this out. Hold on. Make sure I got the right one. We're going to bring you a clip from your favorite in the world's uh, most hated, Alex Jones. Look what this jigger did. Let me, I, I was like, look at Alex taking it to the damn streets. I'm not mad at him. Hold on. Y'all can see it? I'm not mad at him. As long as you expose him, do you babe? Look at Alex Jones. Hold on. Look at him running down. Actually, where are you go? How is this? How is this Christian? Hey, hey, the police over here. They got a bunch what of kids without their car seats. You're violating Texas law. Who, who, who is this right here? That's Alex Jones. Hey, you got no comments. Hey, you got those children in there you? illegally. You're about to run a human being over. Hey, you got those children you? in there. Who are you? You got who those smuggled children illegally. Who are you? Where are you taking these children? You're smuggling children. Are you part of? You got to be legally in that vehicle. You're not a part of this organization? Who are you? Where are you taking these kids? Where are you taking these kids? Where are you taking these kids? Sir, identify This is a massive smuggling. This is literally human smuggling. These are children. Who are you? Where are you taking these kids? 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 Where are you taking Where are you taking these kids? 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 Where are you Maybe Sir, identify you. yourself. Who are you? Fucking hit me. I'll tell you right. Who do you work for? Y'all see that? Y'all see Alex Jones running down? Got them damn kids in the trunk? Now, you know that ain't normal. They coming straight out of a defects office or wherever they're coming from. I just had a video on play in the back. Yeah, as you can see, it's like a child protective surgery. You see the little church in there, the little cross. You see what I'm saying? And the staff. They put these kids in the trunk. That shit ain't normal. Something not normal here. So shout out to Alex Jones just running down, showing a little bit more proof. A little bit more proof that sex trafficking is real and it may be connected to our government. Okay? I just showed you showed you a lot and I just told you a story. It's up for you to believe. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course, which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.